All right, hello everyone. Here we are, hole number nine. We're setting up for here. Just going to go a pock sniper again. More of a layup. So here I'm up. What I'm gonna to try to do is just kind of nestle this over here to the right. Um, with a nice tailwind like this, we should be able to get this with a rock. So that's probably what I'll do second second go round, but um, you know, for guys who may not have developed enough ones, I'll still try to get you guys this guide. Now keep in mind, I'm gonna use probably pretty close to max here, more or less. You can see that I'm kind of backing off the top spin a little bit. Let me also turn on my curl grid so you can see how much curl. Well, you know, I might end up just maxing here. Let me go about five rings. Might be just a slight overplay. Um, you can see I'm using 80 or 90 curl. Didn't want that great ball with, with a with a little or accuracy, but uh, hopefully, yep. You can see that it still holds on. You can see with that little amount of topspin, we're still able to get up towards the max of the fairway here. So you won't need to do too much here. Um, and it is going to make this hole much easier, in my opinion, if you can get over to that right edge. And if you can play it fairly aggressive like that, we can go for a rough bump even. So it's really going to make things a little bit easier for us. And as I mentioned, you know, it's that it was very close, so I really didn't even need the curling grid line. I'm going to make sure that I turn that back off so it's not in my way. Minus 5%. I'm going to be using very, very close to the max adjustment, 90-ish percent at least. I'm going to try to kind of go half into, well, I'm going to try to align this. I'm going to do a rough bump this time. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I am going to do the rough bump. It looks like it just rolls out. So, you know, I can see that I'm kind of five rings. I'm going to assume that I'm going five rings into the rough already. So I'm only going to adjust this maybe about three. <clears throat> so somewhere right around here. I'm just going to, oh my goodness, another great ball. So let's see how it works out. Eh, still not enough top spin. So uh, if you want to go for that rough bump, it looks like you're going to need a Sniper 10 to have just a little bit more um, top spin. But I wanted to at least give you, you know, an idea as to what to be shooting. Um, it seems to be, you know, definitely a smart shot, especially if you bring, let's say you can afford to use power four balls and you have a sniper 10. So sniper 10 power four balls. We're going to be able to set up very aggressively on this top edge and use about five, maybe five and a half on the top spin and give herself a very nice run out possibility um, for a hole out. So do keep that shot in mind. I, I, I'm only going to do it one time. Um, if you guys want to keep working through it, though, I'm just trying to give you suggestions on how to start getting, because it's only Monday, so we got plenty of time. You guys just need to start getting honed in on your adjustments and figuring out how you need to fix that. Um, and I'm sure that you're more than capable of handling it. And for guys who may not be comfortable with the rough bump, I'm going to just give the fairway shot next time. I was hoping that that might get there just so I could kind of show guys that they can still do it with a Sniper 9. It might be just a little bit too risky with a Sniper 9. You may only want to try that with a Sniper 10. So good luck with that hole, guys, and I will catch you guys on another set of guides coming up right after this.